What's up, people? It's your girl, Adiola. So the Nigerians Senate refused to consider President Buhari's request to borrow $29 billion. As a matter of fact, people are saying it's $30 billion. They said that the proposal was not well detailed. Meanwhile, the same week, Mr. President cried out. He revealed to every one of us that he almost absconded when he came into office and found out that there was no savings in the treasury. Each Nigerian barrel of oil was $100 per barrel. When we came, by some fabulous coincidence, it dived, it dived to less than 30. Actually, I felt right to uh, abscond it. <laughs> you see, as much as I criticize this one, I, you know, I do, uh, Mr. President, sometimes I actually pity you. Like, seriously, it's true that oil price dropped just when he was sworn in and then there was no savings. So yes, I do pity Mr. President a lot. But you know the important thing, Mr. President, I mean, I do well in case you're watching me, the important thing is that we cannot continue to blame the previous administration. I mean, you, you've been in power now for more than a year, so you understand. So we need to move on, really. We need to move on and start talking about what you've done despite the fact that there was no savings. You know what I mean? I want to start hearing things like, despite all the obstacles that I faced when I came in, this is what I've achieved, this is what I've achieved. Those are the kind of things that I like to hear. We are aware of the obstacles, so let's move on. And speaking of people overcoming obstacles, doing the impossible, a Nigerian doctor based in Texas did the unthinkable. Ladies and gentlemen, please meet Dr. Oluyinka Olutoye of the Texas Children's Hospital. He made Nigeria proud of Bene. As a matter of fact, I feel like I'm somebody just because my very good friend, Dr. Damages, met this doctor. Eh? Put up his photo, put up his <laughs> Dr. Damages, you know, as well. Anyway, this doctor and his team carried out a successful operation on an umbrella born baby. They found out that the baby had tumor that could lead to heart failure. So Dr. Olutoye removed the baby from her mother's womb and then they removed the tumor on the baby's spine and they put the baby back in her mother's womb. I'm telling you that is a miracle. This baby was 23 weeks at the time of the surgery and they put her back in her mother to continue growing until she was 36 weeks in the womb and then she was born. You see that is what I call born again. That, uh, that is a born again baby. Obviously I trained in Nigeria my background was in Nigeria. I know there are lots of talented physicians and, and surgeons in that country. Honestly, we are all so proud of Dr. Olutoye. The only thing that I don't understand is why I'm not seeing this man's name on every media platform here in America. Eh? What is the matter? Why are they not saying that this man is a Nigerian? Why? That is not correct. Why is it that if we do something bad in America, that same day, everybody will know that we are from Nigeria. It's not good. But why is it that you don't mention that we are Nigerians when we do something good? Ah, get me upset. Congratulations, Sojare, my Oga. We are very proud of you, sir. Someday I will meet him too. Oh, I cannot wait. You guys now don't know much. Guess what? I'm just keeping it real. <laughs>